Mid-Jersey Sports' first-ever trip to Chambersburg Little League was where we saw the Berg boys taking on Bordentown Monday evening. Bordentown fans wisely finding some shade, unlike the cameraman. John Schroeder starting this game on the hill for the Burlington Dudes. He retired a number of Chambersburg batters. Bottom of the first, Ethan Reiser, sorry for the prior mispronunciation, taking advantage of some throwing errors. He scores run number one. Justin Smith, several batters later, doing what he does best, hitting the long ball. See ya! A three-run home run to extend B-Town's lead. The black and gold happy to get the bats working, which they had a tough time with against HTRBA. Still in the first, Schroeder up, hits this the opposite way down the line. It drops in fair. Base is full, so you know it's going to do some more offensive damage. Two more runs come in. By the end of one, Bordentown up by a touchdown. Darnell Davis up to bat for the Berg. He gives this a ride. It stays in the park, but it's very well hit. That's a couple of RBIs for the green and gold. Later, Smith back at the plate for Bordentown. He lifts a fly ball to straightaway center, and it lands. That means Smith's fourth RBI of the night. Well, make it five. His mother and friends all smiles about it in center field. In the later innings, Trenton would warm up their own bats. This is hit just out of the reach of Schroeder, despite the great effort. Another run comes in, making this an offensive lover's delight. Schroeder, however, made plenty of noise from the batter's box on this Monday. He hits this through to left. It is definitely good enough for one run. They send Riser around, and Chambersburg gets him. On point throw and tag by them. Giovanni Menino, whose family hails from Chambersburg, says, What the hell? I'm hitting it out of here. It lands among the children at the playground. One heck of a nice long bomb hit by GM, another old-school Trenton reference for the man of the night. You'll see why he was the man of the night shortly. Dylan Smith up in the later innings, trying to end the game via the always humorous mercy rule. He belts this to right. Two more runs come in, including Michael Gambaluka, the 11-year-old playing up with the 12s. Bottom five, B-Town up by nine. Well, this you pretty much knew was going to end things early, and then some Menino with his second jack of the night, landing right near to police. A three-run bomb. That's all they wrote. Bordentown over the Berg, 18-6. The last game we didn't hit so well. Uh, at least now we know that we can hit the ball, and maybe we'll take it into the next game. We kind of just kept piling on. The one inning we had a couple errors, but we corrected on that hitting-wise. On any given day, anybody can beat anybody. So that, that's their attitude. So uh, they showed their true colors today. Bordentown plays at West Windsor Wednesday. For Mid-Jersey Sports, I'm Mark Fontes.